How's it going, YouTube? Chris here at my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this afternoon. Uh, got a little things accomplished in the room this week. It's been slow going, but uh, I got uh, some things done. Let's pan the camera around and then we'll get started. So, as you can see, we got lights in here now. So, I got all the lights working. And of course, you done seen the stage area. Now I got boxes everywhere. I did a unboxing video that I haven't posted yet. And I don't know that I'm gonna do it. I, I, it's hard to do unboxings for me right now, but I unboxed the, uh, the rack and I got it put together. So I'm gonna show that to you now. And I already started putting some equipment in it. Now this is the, let me close the door. A little aggravating closed door, but I get it. So this is the SYS racks. It's a 42U. I don't know what all that means. I don't know servers and stuff, but it's got a little digital display. It's got the time, which is in military time. And it's in Celsius, because this rack comes from uh, Canada. So I don't know that if I can change all that or not. It'd be nice if I could, but man, this thing, it's tall, it's 84 inches tall, 24 wide, 24 deep. And it's got a lot of room. So let's open this thing up. It has a lock here, just a regular kind of lock like you do that. You open it up and it's mesh. I thought it was glass, but when it came in, it's mesh, which is good. That gives you better uh, airflow and stuff. It has four fans and I discovered this one wasn't working. So I meshed them and immediately they ship one out, got one coming, which I mean, I have some AC Infinity fans. They look to be this exact same fan, but I paid with shipping almost $1,200 for this rack. They can replace it, and they are. And the build quality is very good. Now, this is my first experience with a rack, so I do not know how to compare these to other racks. So it came with this one shelf here, and I am going to, I bought two more shelves. So I want, this don't have the rack mount ears and I might could have bought a rack mount kit for it, but it's fine on the shelf. So I bought two more shelves. One's gonna have my receiver on it and eventually I'll upgrade to a, a I want the a XMC2 Emotiva is what I want or the HTP1 uh, monolith, monoprice monolith. I, one of the two, I don't know. But, uh, and then I think those, those have the rack mounts that you put in, so. But for right now, I got two shelves, so I'm gonna have that on a shelf, and then I'm gonna have my Blu-ray player on a shelf. So that'll be the three shelves. And so I got these Rockville amps. I am going to do an unboxing video on the Rockville amp. These amps were cheap, like maybe 150 bucks. They are 125 watts by two channels, and I think they're 400 watts bridged. So I got six of these amps. I think that's right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got, I got six of these amps. So the three is gonna be for my LCR, and then the other three will be for the rest of the speakers. And then I'm one amp short, so I'm just gonna run, you know, the height speakers to uh, my receiver, to, to my Pioneer. And I left this space because I got another Rockville lamp coming and it's 2000 watts bridged to go with this Suntron, Suntron and it's 2000 watts bridged. So I'll have 2000 watts going to each of my Chase Audio 18s. So, man, this rack, I mean, like I say, I've never had one before. So I don't know <laughs> how all the other racks are. So, and of course it has a, has a lock on it. A little aggravating and close, and maybe they all are, or maybe it's just this one, so. But it's got side panels here, and it's kind of like a computer cases, and it has a lock, so you can actually take side panels off top and bottom on both sides. So we'll walk around here. So you've got the same thing on this side. The, the pull tabs, the lock, the lock. I mean, you can get to your stuff from the side if you needed to. And then right now I just got it kind of makeshift here. 
it came with this power strip here. So I just got everything plugged into it. I've got this monster. This is an older monster line conditioner. I'm, I'm probably gonna get a Panamax here for long. I might get a couple of them. And uh, I think those are rack mount, but that's kind of how it looks. I got some wire, I actually got two shelves, stationary shelves and some wire management coming. So I'll be able to, you know, put my wires in there and make it look nice and neat in the back. And uh, my wires are, speaker wires are long enough to where I can pull this cabinet in and out. And man, it fits so good in my space. I, I actually <laughs> build it right. And, uh, and of course this locks too, but I'm trying to figure out how to get the power in and out of it. I guess I could come in, it has this little thing right here. It's a little, like a little brushes thing here. I can run my power up through there, I guess. to get the power into the rack because there ain't no other outlet for it except for that. But yeah, I, I think the quality of this rack is good. It's got a, let's see, so we'll get around here and see. It's got the feet and it's got some pretty heavy duty Procaster wheels with locks on them. So it's a sharp looking rack guys. I, so far I can recommend it and the uh, customer service is really good on it. So far, I mean, I asked a question, boom. I mean, they shoot me right back and this is going through Amazon. You know, and this is what I ordered right from was through Amazon. And it's easy to move around. And I really like it, guys. I wish I could slide it into space right fast, but that's kind of how we got it. But that's basically what I've been working on for a couple of days. I know in my when I was shooting another video, I was going through all the boxes and I just absolutely could not find the instruction manual. So I messaged them and they sent me a link to a uh, digital manual. Uh, lo and behold, I was going through the box, getting the rest of the parts out and found the manual. Found the manual, got it upside down, that's the back. So, I mean, if you guys wanna check them out, man, they're good. But this thing was in the box. I'll show you how it was. It was in the box under this flap. You know, just barrel hanging out, I couldn't see it. And I was like, what's that? <laughs> Pour it out and it was the manual. So, I mean, it comes with a manual. I mean, I got all this, you know, you know, pieces of extra stuff. I mean, I didn't, I didn't leave anything out. I mean, I actually, this, I mean, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've, I've tried to figure it out. So I did leave that out, but I mean, everything else is good, man, the quality. I mean, it's really good. It's got your adjustments on here, numbers, I guess, for the racks. So it's easy to put your inserts in. It's real clean, I, I think. Like I say, this is my my very first experience with a rack. So I'm just kind of at a loss and I, I really can't compare it to anything because I don't know. So you guys drop down in the comments, tell me what you think about this rack. And uh, how you think it might compare to it. And uh, I'll actually leave a link in, I mean, I don't have any, I don't have any affiliation with anybody right now. I'm still new, my channel's small, so I'm not really working with anybody. So I don't, you know, I'll put a link in Amazon where I bought it from. I mean, I'm not gonna get any kind of special deals or anything. I'm just trying to let y'all know where I got it from. But I got a, Another one of these Rockfell amps, and the reason why I left it up, because I am going to do an unboxing on that. I was going to do that tonight, and I still may do it tonight. But I just wanted to talk about this rack, and I kind of wish I would have maybe showed y'all me putting it together, but I'm just not there yet. Just not there yet. But I don't know what you guys think about it. And somebody, they've been commenting on Facebook about how loud these Rockville amps are. I'm telling you, I can't even hear them run. And I'm not deaf. I just had a hearing test at work. I, I mean, they're not loud. And I'm I'm looking through them. The fans are running. The fans are running on both sides. 
and there's five of them plus the Suntron. And I know one of the fans on it's been acting up. Sometimes it makes a noise. It did when I had it before. But I mean, <laughs> these things are quiet. So people talk about they don't sound good. I mean, I, you know, I, 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 I listen to everybody's opinion. Sometimes they're right. But I will be the judge of myself. I'll be the judge. And I will let you guys know what I think. And what I think, hey, may be different from what you guys think. If you, you've tried them out. I don't know. We're going to try them. We're going to try them. So, so far, that's what we got. Hadn't done anything else other than getting my lights up. Still going to put three across the front. Won't take long. I got to get this other wire run to my sconce. I got to get that done. I got to get that tied up. I got run. I'm going to run a 50-foot RCA, set RCAs up here. That's just in case. I mean, look, guys. These, these subs are awesome. This room is small. I know I won't never need any JTR captivators, and I don't think I will ever need to upgrade these subs. I mean, yeah, I could put them in the rear if I had some captivators up here. I don't know that I ever need that. But in my mind, I want to run some RCAs just in case. Just in case I want to do something. Maybe, maybe, maybe my channel blows up, which I'm hoping it do. I mean, I enjoy doing this stuff. Maybe it blows up and somebody wants to send me something to try. So I got RCAs there to try them out. So I try to be future-proof. I try to think ahead. Some things I miss, but I reckon I could turn that light on. I say these are working. There you go. So well, we got plenty of light in here, but you know, I'm still gonna do three lights across there. It's a little shadow there, but I wanna do the three lights cause I'm gonna do the decorative, whatever, the kind of, whatever up there, you know, to make it look good. So we're getting close, guys. I wanna be hanging sheet rock the weekend. Today's Tuesday. I don't know that I'm gonna make it, but I, but look here, let me show you this. All right, sheet rock. I got 12 pieces, 12 sheets of 12 foot sheet rock. Now let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Did the same thing I'm up there. Most people hang sheet rock this way. So they'll have a seam every eight feet, 12 feet, however, however long the sheets they buy. So they have a seam across the middle and then every eight feet or whatever they have one up and down. I'm not doing that. What I do, I bought 12 foot sheet rock. This has got nine and a half foot ceilings. So I will cut the couple of feet off, whatever it is off of it, and I'll stand it up. So every four feet, I got one seam to the top and the bottom, and then of course my corners and the joints and all. Cause I'm not doing crown molding or anything. I'll I'll do it just like I did my last year, and I, I think that's it works good for me because I am not a sheetrock guy. I'm not a carpenter. I hell I ain't an electrician, enough, but I just, I know how to do this stuff because I can't afford to pay nobody to do it. So we'll hang the sheetrock every four feet. I pretty much got I already got it measured out on the wall how it's gonna be, and in the back here. Right there where the door's at, right here, and that's four feet. So, I mean, basically all I got, all I got is a little, little seam right there. So that worked out real good. So we gonna get it. Still got the, I got to get the uh, insert to bring this out, flush with the wall for the new vent. I'm gonna get a new vent because those vents are jacked up and I don't like that. So. That's what we got, guys. I'm I'm plugging along with this thing. I got to get on the ball. It's got I got some distractions here and there, and it's fine. I enjoy distractions every now and then. I I get so tied up with my work. I forget to enjoy my life sometimes. And so for the past week or so, I've I've had some distractions, and it's been good. And uh, y'all don't think that y'all distracting me and you know who I'm talking to or whoever. But anyway, I just, I enjoy distractions. I enjoy it. So, but that's what we got. Let's turn this thing around here. Let's, let's, let's turn this thing around and just tie this up. So that's it guys. That's my little video kind of, kind of a review on the rack, just kind of showing it to you. I'll do a full blown review on it pretty much when I get in, get, everything installed in the rack and i might show some of the footage i didn't delete any of the footage i shot several videos unboxing all the boxes i'm telling you i was impressed with 
how they packaged this stuff. It was really good. Everything was packaged so good. There was nothing damaged, and it came all the way from Canada. And I'm tell you, I'm 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 really impressed so far with what I'm seeing. And now I could have partnered with them. Maybe they could have sent me some stuff, but I don't know what the process is, the wait time. I just I didn't have time, so I ordered some different stuff. Uh, for the manage for the uh, wire management and the, and the, uh, the shelves and stuff that'll fit in the racks. I mean, so, uh, but I'm I'm sure these guys these guys are really good so far. Everything that I've seen. So we'll do a full blown review on this rack at a later time. But this is kind of just an introduction to my thoughts of it. I really like it so far, and uh, we'll cover that at another date. Hey, like, subscribe, share, help me out. Uh, Man, with channels still growing, getting more subscribers, I keep seeing it tick up one here, two there, two or three a day, and then might skip a day and then get one here and there. And I, and I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate everybody that's, that's joined in. Man, you guys have been hitting me up on Facebook, on Instagram. I, I thank y'all. I really do. I thank y'all uh, for hitting me up, talking with me, giving me my suggestions, telling me what you think. Uh, I, I appreciate it. But uh, we're going to uh, wrap this video up. And uh, we'll see y'all guys here uh, probably toward the end of the week. I might even do one tomorrow on the, on the amp, uh, just to unbox and then we'll take a look at it. But y'all guys have a good night and we'll see you again real soon.